Hi, this is Jill with Quick Flicks. Um, I'm going to try and do a video here and hope that it'll work. Um, I'm been having troubles with my QuickTime player, which is going to <clears throat> really affect my um, online classes. But anyway, I'm going to give this a shot and keep my fingers crossed that this will work. I This is an 8.5 by 11 inch mat here. What I'm trying to do is take this two foot piece and cut it up like a puzzle so that it can be made um, using an eight and a half by eleven inch printer along with the portrait uh, uh, silhouette machine versus the cameo. Um, I'm going to hold the leg up here because I want to find the places where I want to cut it. And I'm going to pick here at the knee and cut it off and this is going to be one piece. Actually before doing that, I'm going to scroll down here a minute. I'm going to take this and this piece and do an offset. And do my offset to a point zero five, And then I'm going to pull that offset away. Whoops, I'm going to pull that offset over here. Because I need to have something to build this on. There we go. Now, there's going to be one piece. Now, I'm going to move this over to the mat again. I would not recommend doing a two-foot piece if you don't have a two, uh, if you don't have the printer for it because it is a lot of piecing. However, it isn't that it can't be done. I, it's just a personal preference of mine because it's a lot more work. I'm picking the areas here to cut to put it together, like I said, like a puzzle. Oops, I don't think that cut through right. I probably should zoom in more, and that's what I'm going to have to do. I can't see where my cuts are. And I see right here where my little tiny piece didn't go through is right there. And let's see, there we got part two. Let me zoom out and see that'll fit on the mat. Of course, you're going to have your registration marks on. You're going to have to take into consideration those. However, if it's outside of the registration mark, um, it, it doesn't matter. Just cut the, the piece that's hanging off that's outside. Cut it by hand because the machine will cut everything out that's within these marks, these registration marks, but it will not cut anything past those lines. It will still print it out and it will still cut. Um, anyway, there's the second leg. Then I'm going to move him to the mat. And let's see where we would want to cut him. I'm going to use my curved knife. And let's see here. I think... I'm going to go, whoops, I should zoom, zoom in again. Let me zoom in here so I can see what I'm doing, and you can see what I'm doing. And let's see here. We're going to go with, let's go up through here. You're going to want to stay with some of the lines in um, of the image that you're cutting out so that when you piece it together, you, your lines aren't going to show so much like they would if you were cutting them right in the middle of a solid colored piece. I don't know if that makes any sense, what I just said, because I'm trying to do this very rapidly. And let's see, this piece will fit in here if I turn it. There you go. There's another piece. This is, again, only if you're going to try and do a two-foot piece um, using your portrait and a, or an 8.5 by 11 inch, uh, inch printer. There we go. There's another piece. Whoops, I forgot it had to be cut over here. Over here, let's see, this one we're going to go like this, and I'm going to follow this gray area here. There, this should fit on there. If it doesn't, let's turn it, and if it doesn't fit, yep, there it fits. Turning it, that fits, and let's see, there we go. There, now we got them all fit. Now when you go to put them together, you're going to want to keep in mind how they go. There's the legs. 
um, you're going to have this base and you're going to, you know, you'll know where to put these pieces when you go to line it up. I'm not going to twist and turn them to show you. Now, on the base here, how I would do it is these can be straight lines. And I cut them in straight lines. Whoops, you don't need the registration marks on number one. I'm going to turn the registration marks off now. Don't need those. There, there you can see your workspace. So let me move this down so I can get as much on the paper as possible. And I am going to cut this off right here. You have to remember where all these pieces and how they go together because you're going to have to take and butt these two pieces together when you, when you cut them out of white and then take a strip like quarter inch or half an inch wide strip of, of uh, paper and um, tape them together. I've showed it on previous videos numerous times on how I make a 24 inch 12 by 24 inch sheet of paper. And let's see, we're going to go from here to here. You can probably get the, the idea of why I don't do that big a piece if you don't have the printer to do it because it is a lot, a lot more work. Because you're going to have to take all of these pieces and put them together. What you could do is you could number them, put them on your mat, and leave a picture of an, uh, one that's put together that's not all cut up as a visual, and then number each of these pieces, and the piece that's one solid piece, kind of put a number on top of it so you can see where which goes where. Um, if, you know, if you're good at puzzles, that's fine. You can put it right back together and not an issue. You're going to have five pieces that you're going to have to cut out. But again, when you do put these together, your, your background, where you're going to build your colors on top, these have all been cut along lines of the, the robot, so it should not show. I did a trace on this, but I didn't trace it real good. You can see some white there. I did it very, very quickly because I don't even know if this program is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. So I hope that helps. That... Um, yeah, let me see. I forgot what I was doing. There we go. Stop. 